Time now for weather with Nebraska Extension Ag Climatologist and Market Journal Chief Meteorologist Al Dutcher. And Al, it looks like the coldest part of the week is behind us, at least for now anyway. What can we expect for the week ahead? Well, Troy, you're exactly right. We did see some cold there earlier in the week, and now we are going to see a nice broad warm-up this weekend to kind of give us a little bit of a break. And by the time you average the cold and the warmth from this weekend, we'll probably be pretty close to average for this week. Thankfully, the coldest of the air that came in through the northern plains did move to the east and northeast of us, so we see some exceptionally cold air across the upper Midwest, and some locations had near to all-time record lows, and several locations set all-time daily low temperature records as we've seen temperatures anywhere from minus 20 to minus 35 depending on where you were looking in the area and some significant snowfall across the Great Lakes region. For us, we've seen the warming temperatures start to build in during the middle of the week and it looks like they've spread eastward and they will continue through this weekend before the bottom once again falls out as we go into the early portion of next week. So as we look at the upper air models, first I'll draw your attention to this upper air low over California. This will start to spread energy into our region but for today, because it is forming and digging deep, we're going to see the ridging build up in the central plains. That's going to allow the warmth to return into our region as high pressure is controlled across the southern Rockies. So the most of the precipitation will remain to the west. Here we'll be under fairly sunny skies, and most of the locations should be into the 50s. A piece of energy shoots out as we go into tomorrow afternoon, and we see low pressure development at the surface. Cold air to our north, it looks like that convergence zone between the cold and warm air will occur to our north, so we'll get that overrunning precipitation with a widespread precipitation band across the central Rockies. We get a little bit of a break on Sunday as the trough once again starts to deep and brings the warmth right back up, and we're looking at some 60s across the western part of the state and probably upper 50s across the eastern part of the state as low pressure gets its act together. That will help to pull the moisture up into our region Sunday night into Monday. Looks like snow to our north, and for us it looks like a rain to snow changeover. And then the main trough starts to progress toward the east as low pressure forms as we get into the day on Tuesday at the surface in west, western Kansas. That will rapidly move to the east, and so we see this wide expanse of snowfall. The models have consistently over the last few runs kept the storm system too far to the north, so I wouldn't be surprised if this drops a little bit farther south. And more importantly, as we get into the day on the Wednesday, that trough starts to lift out. We get cold, high pressure starting to build into the northern plains, and so that will reinforce the cool air that will come in place and the exit of this storm system will be primarily in the teens statewide. And then as we get into the day on Thursday, we start to see the ridge trying to build back into western Nebraska as high pressure uh, starts to move into the region. That's going to bring a warming trend to the western part of the state. We'll remain cool in the eastern part of the state, probably going back up to the 20 degree plus mark range with scattered flurry activity. And then more importantly on Friday, we start to get to a zonal flow as yet another trough approaches the Pacific Northwest. So at the surface, we'll see a low developing in Texas. There's just not going to be enough moisture and the speed of this low moving to the east is really not going to allow a significant amount of moisture northward. So we're just basically looking at flurry activity. And more importantly, as we look out farther into the future, the eight to 14 day forecast, it takes that storm coming to the western United States next weekend, starts to bring the cold air into our region. So from next Thursday to the following Tuesday, it looks like the best chance for below normal temperatures will be to the northwestern United States with lesser chances as you move toward the east. And in terms of precipitation, good precipitation from the southwest to the southern plains, and then that more importantly as you get into the central plains, the highest probabilities will be across southern Nebraska. So Troy, it looks like a nice weekend and then the things fall apart as we go into next week.